Good morning, Ace here. So I was going through this footage I recorded a while back. And um, these Sasquatches, they got real close to me. You know, I could reach out and touch them. It was so close they got. But they're just, they're just masters of staying hidden, you know. But anyways, we're going to dive into this footage here. Strap on your boots and, and uh, here we go. So first, I'm just going to go to edit and go to markup just to show you what we got here. So the first one is this Sasquatch right here. You can see his eye right here. He's looking this way, right? See his, see his pupil right here at the edge of his eye? Look at all this detail in his face, man. It is so unbelievable. Look at that. It's a little juvenile. But look, he's already practicing cover and concealment so, so well. See how his face is 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 painted up, marked up. You can see some dark browns and lighter browns and and spots of green around his mouth for for vegetation. You know, um, and then you see his little nose right here. See his mouth right here. Not much of an expression on his face. Just a, I guess, just a, a curiosity look more than anything. Look at that, man. That's not pareidolia, folks. That's not blurry. It's just a well-hidden Sasquatch. Check him out. absolutely amazing now if if somebody's got that software where you could do a split thing and show half its face and his other space i'd be curious in to seeing something like that um okay so you see this right here this is a plank of wood right here you can see the jagged edges yeah used for cover and concealment either as a door it's like a a door through a tree or or something a piece of stone that looked like a stone or something it's somewhere that they're they're retreating to during the day they're hiding somewhere during the day and that looks like the lid to it wherever they're going Look at the jagged edges on there, on that piece of wood or whatever it is. See, like, uh, you know, like, whenever you're doing construction, right, drywall, for example, you know, like, you'll put, like, a, you'll have a piece of drywall on a, on a piece of two by four or something if you're making or not two before but uh, a piece of plywood like say if you're making a hatch or something if you look right here you see that right here see this is like right and then you got this piece here that uh, works like a lid basically like if you're making a door for a piece of drywall that's what it looks like any, um, just amazing man but that is absolutely what that looks like and he's using it for cover and concealment here covering up his face okay that's the first Sasquatch that's the little one right if you look right up above him, 
is one of the parents, I believe. Which you can see, it's kind of a side profile view. There's the nose. The mouth would be right in here. And then right here's the one eye. You can see it open there. The other one's hidden back here somewhere. Um, but just a moment, we'll look into this. But if you zoom in right here, you can see the whites of his eye, right? You see the white right here. Here's the whites of his eyeball. Here's his pupil. And he's looking off to his left as well. He's facing. He's looking off the same direction that this one's looking. Because something's got their attention up in their top left corner. Okay. And when we're looking here. If you look through this vegetation here. You'll see that. Right here. It kind of, it kind of looks like the other eye is bleeding through right there a little bit. Can't say for certain. Right, but if you look behind all that, right here, for example, right here, you can see the the outline of his head coming through his his dark fur is coming through right there behind the vegetation. You can see it come up its conical head right there. It's all behind there, right. That's where his, the dark fur is coming in. Uh, it's where it's hidden at. Excuse me. Okay. So we got the parent with the juvenile down in front of him. And then we have another one. Looking over his shoulder right here. You can see his eye. There's his second eye. This one has one of those Darrow type noses, like a Darrow hybrid type nostril. And then his mouth down here somewhere. But you can see the fur along his head right here. Right, it's going up like that somewhere. Or if, if it's either that. Um, which I, I'm more inclined to think that's what it is. Or there could be an eye here. And maybe one over here somewhere. I'm not real sure. But from the looks of it. It looks like it's right here. And then here's the shoulder. You can see the fur coming in on the shoulder right there. So basically, it's a family all stacked up there, hiding together, all bunched together. And I think they're looking off to the left to, to stop with reflection. They don't want that reflection to catch my eye. Like, if you look up here in the top left, see this right here? That's an eye reflection back there because they were looking straight at me. But there's no reflection here because he's looking off this way, right? Very smart. And <clears throat> there, the reason why you can only see half her face is because they're they're hiding this eye because I'm blasting them with a light straight at him, right? And they got this eye looking off to the left, so. This eye is going to naturally be blinded, right? Because I'm hitting it with such a light. But they're covering their right eye, so all they have to do is close their left one. And then they can run with their right eye open. With That's still, acute, uh, it's still adjusted for uh, nighttime. So it doesn't have to acclimate to the night. To the, uh, to the low dim light because it's all, it's right eyes already acclimated. Okay. Thirdly, I do believe that right here is another Sasquatch, right? 
You can see its eye right here. You can see the white of its eye. And then here's its pupil. It's well hidden. Here's its nose. And then its right eyes right there. It's well hidden. But it's there. No doubt it's there. Okay, you can see some of its fur around its head there. Uh, I think its jaw structure probably comes down like that. Maybe not that far down. Let me see here. Probably like that. This is a little, this is a juvenile too, maybe not a little one. Now, this could be the Hobbit uh, size Sasquatches here. I'm not sure. Uh, these could all be adults as far as that goes. I, uh, I'm not real certain on that. But then if you look, you see you got this Sasquatch here. And if you look back through here, you'll see two eyes right here. And here's the here's a, another little baby right here. We're going we're going to get to that one here in a minute. But uh, it looks like there's another one right here, right below him. I could be wrong on that one. Not a lot of definition there to to make that. Not enough uh, information there to say for sure. No, I see an, a a. Uh, an amber looking eye right there. Um, which I could, this could be an eye here and maybe another one there somewhere. I'm not real sure about that. It kind of looks like, it looks like maybe there's an eye here. A nose and that's a mouth open on them. another one it's way back in there the distance you can see how it's it's uh going out of focus some it's because that's further back in there yeah that's another sasquatch back there it's way back in the woods there and that's um it's way back in there no. The camera don't show you depth perception, so. And here, here's another one right here. There's a whole, there's a whole family of them in here. And there's one at the top. Look at that. There's two there. These ones here are, are uh, way back in there. So you got. Here's that nocturnal shade lens. There's this nose, it's eye, it's mouth. Then you got an eye right here, barely open. One hidden nose, and this mouth is hidden behind the head of this one. So this is like the adult up here. Here's the juvenile. Take all that off so you can see. So I've not done any enhancements, but if I turn up the sharpness, I can clean that up quite a bit so you guys can get a, a better look at that. But there's definitely two Sasquatches there. Damn, that, that, that's way back in there, too, compared to these ones up front here. But the most important one is that one right there. Look at that, man. I'm just floored by that. Okay, so lastly, I want to look at this little juvenile right here. What you can see, he's he's got that smoke color hair. Real dark uh, hair. It, fur, it absorbs light, too, by the way. It just, when you hit it with a flashlight, it just looks like a shadow there. You know what I mean? It just it, it sucks in that light. It looks so dark. It's like a shadow. Okay, but look. You see his eyes there. Look at that. 
You see how large his pupil is right here. Plus, he's got a his his shade lens partially across his eye. His second one is right here, and then there's his little nose. There's a mouse down here, but right here is his hand up here like that. You can see a portion of his claws right there. Um, now, for the ones that have the chameleon ability, I believe they have to be touching an item or something to help chameleon to that color. I don't know. I don't know if it goes off a touch or what, but some of them use that type of capability. Um, I can't quite tell that what he's doing here. Maybe he's maybe he's covering up an eyeball right here. I'm not sure. Maybe there's another Sasquatch right here. I can't tell. But there's definitely some activity going on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to enhance this photo right here, which I've already done an enhancement. Okay, look, here's another one back there. Wow. Okay. So basically, I'm going to click Done on that. And I'm going to slide over here to the other image where I got that one that's done. Also, look at this Sasquatch right here looking around the tree. Look at that smiling at me. Look at that. Taken in the dead of night. There's a couple of different Sasquatches in that footage too. Okay. Moving on. I would like to enhance that a little bit here in a minute. Let's see here. Bear with me here. Where was it at? Oh, right here. So I lightened that up quite a bit. Um... So you can see the definition on his face. You know what I mean? It's quite amazing. Now, if you look, I'm going to go to edit. Mark up here. If you look, you can see another eye right here. Like there's another little Sasquatch right here. It's got a, a little nose on him there. And then you see these streaks on top of his head here. It looks like fingernail fingers. And what quite, quite possibly is another little Sasquatch right there on top of his head. Um, and then, like, here's the other eyeball, maybe. I'm not sure. But it looks like they could be double stacked there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an eye. There's an eye. And then there's the nose, and then it's resting on his head. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to this to edit a little bit. Look at this face, man. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to go here to do some enhancements. So I'm going to turn up a little bit of the definition. Not a whole lot. I don't want to drown it out too much, but just a little bit. And with the sharpness, same thing. I don't want to overdo it. It's easy to do. It's easy to overdo an image. Adjusting it. So what I'll do is I'm going to back that off a little bit. 
And if I got to come back to it, I will. I'll just leave it at that. And then uh, add a little brightness to it. Try to lighten it up some. But yeah, look at that. Look at that eye. Staring right at me. Like leaning up against his face there. Look at that. And then you got this one over here on the corner. I can't tell, but it does kind of look like he's covering up the eyes of another being there. It really does. A being with one of those barrow curved type noses there with a little tongue sticking out. Looks like a little baby right there. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. And this is not pareidolia here, folks. That is a real deal Sasquatch right there. Okay, let me see here. Let me go to see if I can bring out some more detail. I'm going to turn that contrast to it right there. And then lighten it with the shadows. See if we can pull some more detail out of it. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I've pretty much done with YouTube. You know, I might put something up there every great once in a while but i'm mainly going to be on TikTok. so yeah follow get on there and follow me on TikTok. And if you have a youtube account follow me on youtube i would much appreciate it there's definitely a little sasquatch there look at that See his eyes coming in there a little bit. Definitely one there. All right, brothers and sisters, you guys have a mighty fine day. And I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. I appreciate every one of you. Look at that little hand right there. Isn't that something? Check that out. Have a good day. Peace.